Good everybody, it's Ia Patsy, and I'm here for the reading for the uh, sign of Virgo for the month of March 2018, okay? So I've already cut all the cards, I did my prayers, and um, we're going to be using a new deck today, which is the um, Gilded Tarot, and that is by... Um, Cyril Marchetti. All right, and we're going to use a different kind of spread today also. This is a um, spread that only takes up uh, a few cards, so the messages hopefully will be quicker because I know the messages do get long. Um, Virgo, we had determined early in the year that you are represented by um, Snow White. Okay, in the uh, inner child card, so we'll keep that in mind. That means that there's um, Snow White is about a spiritual union. So we should be looking forward to you either finding um, a soulmate or a twin flame, or being involved in some kind of work in the in your community that may have to do with spirituality or um, just getting more of an, uh, of a relationship with source, um, coming more and more into, uh, the person that you are intended to be. Okay. So you're learning things, gathering skills, you're resting in between, um, coming up against different obstacles, um, not learning lessons and redoing lessons that you've already had been warned about or that you've already had a bad experience with. You tried it again. So sooner or later, you'll get it. And then you'll be able to express what it is that you're feeling and to be able to um, go forward to your your happiness, okay? Um, but right now, in the early stages, um, you may not be at that place yet. Uh, you still be maybe um, facing obstacles, especially in your personal life, in your work life, career. But at the same time, you're learning, you're gathering tools, you're learning how to navigate the system. There are people who are extending um, branches of kindness and peace to you. You may be getting help from places that you didn't even expect to get it. But definitely you are evolving and you're changing and you are learning more about source and self. Okay? So... Let's go and take a look at these cards that we've gotten for you so far. The first five cards have already been laid out. Now, the first position of this spread talks about things that are going on right now. What's happening, things that you may be doing, or things that are um, happening, you know, that have been set into place right now. Okay, so the first card that came here for you was page of cups okay so this is uh messages that may be coming to you all right but it was in the reverse so these may be messages about a loved one because this is a cup card so this is something that is emotional for you or for those around you it may not be good news it may be bad news or it may be news that you've been waiting for a long time and the news still hasn't gotten there it's been delayed but it's definitely on its way but when the um when the news does come when the message does get to you it may be unpleasant okay so the second position talks about your home and in this position for you we got Queen of Pentacles. All right, so this talks about someone who is uh, taking care of their business, who is securing uh, their um, 
money, their assets, their careers. This is an independent woman. If you're a female, it could be a male also, okay? But this is what is around your environment, your home, or someone that you're around a lot, or something that's very important to you, okay? So this is the Queen of Pentacles, all right? This is a person who likes to have nice things and who likes to keep her home beautiful uh, and comfortable. All right, so that's what you have around you or that's what you're being influenced by someone around you is like that or that could be you, okay? So there may be a message that is on its way concerning this person in your life and it may not be a pleasant message. Okay, so the next card in this reading in the third position, you got another queen. And this is the Queen of Swords. So again, this is someone who, again, is a very intelligent person. They are very well-spoken. They um, uh, make attention to detail. Okay. They want to know what's going on. They want to get to the truth of the matter. They want to know what's happening they're very uh they can be very sharp they can be very um their words can be very hurtful sometimes all right but um this person is in pursuit of the truth all right they demand the truth all right they listen but if they hear anything that they consider to be bs they call it out right away now, this card, this Queen of Swords, was in the reverse here. So, this again. And since she's a sword and she uh, talks about, you know, and Swords talks about communications and messages, it could be that you are... Uh, this person is not communicating with you or they blocked you. They don't want to hear anything from you. Okay. Um, even if you're trying to come with a message of love. So this may be why it's in the reverse. Maybe this person turned down your message of love. Or someone turned down your message of love. Maybe they thought you brought it too late. Or it wasn't a well thought out message of love. It may have come in an immature way. All right, not addressing the concerns at hand. So she's not a happy person with you right now. Or well, that could be you that is experiencing these messages that you've gotten that are not um, pleasant or it's not what you expected it to be. All right. So the next card that came here for you was the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I said, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of women in this here, Virgo, a lot of female energy in your spread. Ain't nothing wrong with that, okay, because this is our year as women. So, this Queen of Cups talks about love, okay? She is uh, emotional, all right? She'll listen to your, uh, your dreams, your hopes, your prayers. She'll pray for you. She'll pray with you. She wants to be comfortable, but she can also be creative, all right? And she's full of emotion, full of love. She can sometimes seem detached, even though she's a very emotional person, but she has also been through a lot, and so she may act a little aloof in order to protect her because she is so sensitive and she is so emotional and sometimes she needs to just take a step back in order to be able to uh, think about what's going on but you can tell her your problems and your secrets and she'll share your dreams with you and support you in those dreams all right but she is sensitive and her feelings get hurt 
very easily, even though she may not mention it to you. So in that position, that says your role. So maybe that's the position that you are playing for someone today, this week, this month, the month of March. You're going to be listening to someone. You're going to be supportive of someone. You're going to be showing love and concern for people around you or one particular person. This also could be someone else who's um, performing um, this role in your life. But um, as the layout indicates, this is going to be who you are going to be in March. That you're going to be the person who is showing love and concern and taking care of others. All right. And uh, I think what it's saying is just try to keep... Um, a healthy distance while you're doing all that you're going to be doing next month. The last uh, card in this spread is called the outcome card and in that outcome you got the Hierophant. Okay so the Hierophant talks about large uh, institutions and organizations like churches and uh, philanthropic uh, organizations um, so this is about religion, this is about conformity, this is about um, what is expected from you in society, all right, um, this could also have to do with legalities, commitments, um, hmm, it could have to do with marriage, it could have to do with marriage, all right, um, Norm, the regular um, societal expectations of marriage. This could also be going to see a pastor, an elder, uh, someone who is involved in a religious organization um, for advice. Okay, a bishop, pope, hmm, priest, someone who you can. Um, it could be a, a just an elder person that is giving you an advice in a situation, okay, and you respect their um, their input. So it seems as if you're going to be getting some messages that may be concerning to you. It may have something to do with uh, this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords could be someone who is an air sign, all right, so that's a Libra, Virgo, well, you, right, and Gemini. Hmm. Right, so this could be some upsetting news for you about a person who has either one is either an air sign or has air in their chart, and this per, this could have something to do with your home. So this could be affecting your home life in some way, and you're going to be expected to be handling things. Um, and uh, seeing about other people and how they're feeling, how they're reacting, and how they're, um, you know, how they are um, reacting or handling these events that are going on. So there's something going on at home, something that is causing, calling for you to step forth and be supportive of the people involved in this situation, whatever this concerning slow news <laughs> is it could be a loss of a family member a friend could be a financial loss because we do have the queen of, queen of pentacles here even though she's not in the um, up, uh, reverse position it could have something that would affect your income Okay, so let's say that you, uh, someone, your uh, partner or your parent, mother or father, husband or wife, someone who takes care of you is unable to work anymore. They may lose their job. Okay, there could even be a separation or a divorce. Someone could pass away. Whatever it is there, you're being expected to step up and uh, comfort those around you. So now we're going to get some uh, information from 
the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck by Kim Dreyer. All right, and the card that popped out for you was integration. I combine mind, body, and soul to lift all of humanity into a new dimension. Okay, again, this is about you being um, a leader, a comforter. You putting all the pieces together, you making sure that things go smoothly, that things happen in the right way, that everybody's needs are being attended to, that um, everyone is being heard. So you're going to be like the facilitator again. I get that. I get that that's what it is. This, this, this situation that's coming forward for you is going to ask you to uh, be a facilitator, to bring peace, to uplift the situation, get people out of their uh, sadness maybe, or even their arguments. Um, so you may be the peacemaker in this situation, whatever this is. All right. I combine my body, mind, and soul to lift all humanity into a new dimension. So you have those tools. So that means that during this time, whatever this is calling upon for you to do, you have to stay in prayer and meditation. Okay. Try not to let uh, people's uh, actions and reactions um, get to you because you are sensitive. All right. And this is an emotional situation. For everybody it seems so your role in this is to make sure that everybody is uh, not making sure that everybody agrees but just like I said being a facilitator being not in the middle of it but making sure that people aren't um, you know acting out you know um, and you're going to be looked to as a leader. You could be a spiritual leader. You could just be there to um, give advice to uh, uh, the other people involved. <sighs> Next card that came up for you here in the Conscious Spirit Oracle cards was movement meditation. I celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement. Okay, so this is saying that you maybe need to get out and do some movement. Okay, this may also say that you're going to be doing a lot of movement in the month of uh, March concerning the situation. You may be running around doing all kinds of things. Um, again, you're going to be using your mind, your spirit, and your body. All right during this next phase there may be a celebration at at some point okay but it's also saying that you need to get out and uh move around and uh do some exercising dancing okay but take care of your physical body all right be careful all right don't uh, overexert yourself but at the same time um, You're going to be, people are going to be watching you also. So try to make sure that you look your best. And if the music comes on and you feel like dancing, do that. <laughs> okay? All right. So, the next card that we're going to look at here will be from the uh, numerology guidance cards by Michelle Buchanan. Let's see if there are any messages that we can get for the sign of Virgo for the month of March. I want to thank you, Virgo, everybody, for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, your um, requests for readings. <laughs> it was a little overwhelming there for a while, but I think I'm, I'm kind of caught up. I just have another one that uh, just someone just scheduled for a video reading. And I have to just uh, get that appointment straightened out with that person. But uh, it's just been amazing. I'm very close to that thousand subscriber mark that uh, YouTube needs me to, to hit in order for me to... Uh, see what else they got to offer so 
those of you who are watching and enjoying these videos, please subscribe and share. Like them, please. Please like them because if you subscribe and don't like or make a comment, they're trying to like go through and see if somebody is uh, using fake accounts. And, you know, it's a not, it's, I can understand that because, you know, we've had infiltration. And uh, I guess you YouTube is being proactive, even uh, making sure that those people who are posting on YouTube's platform are real people and not just bots, okay? So that's what it is. So do me a favor, please, and subscribe so that I can get onto that thousand dollar that thousand subscriber mark and then I can see all of the great features that YouTube is gonna be offering me. Alright, the card that came up for you. Wow. Individuality. This is eleven. This is an eleven year, master year. All right. So this is telling me that things are going to be very. You're going to be playing a very important role this year. You yourself as a person. This could also talk about you being um, um, in a twin flame relationship, a divine union, masculine and feminine. So this could be coming for you also this year. But at the same time, you as an individual are going to stand out. You as um, yourself are going to make your own impact on the people around you. As we see, you're going to be doing in March anyway. So that's what it is. Make sure to hold on to your individuality. Okay? Don't get lost in the, in the source of this stuff that's going on around here. Okay, so let's see what the book says about individuality as I drop things. Individuality. Number 11. This card indicates the need to embrace your individuality and be your true authentic self. Rather than follow the crowd, you're being guided to break away from the pack and take the road less traveled. Instead of feeling like you're a square peg in a round hole, you're being encouraged to build your own square hole. By drawing this card, you're being called upon to step up to the plate and celebrate your uniqueness. At this time, you must have the courage to speak the truth and march to the beat of your own drum despite the opinions of others around you. What others think of you isn't your business anyway, so you must focus on pleasing yourself. As you honor your individuality and feelings, you will reclaim your personal power and enhance your connection to source. When you do so, you can make your dreams come true. So, be who you are, all right? Be who you are. Be the leader that you are. Be the compassionate person that you are. Be the intelligent thinking person that you are. Okay? Don't let anything that goes on in this situation with this, uh, whatever the situation is, don't allow yourself to be belittled by anybody, intimidated by anybody. Stand up for who you are. Tell your truth about what you are and what you know. Now, Everything that you know and believe may not be true, but it's the truth that you've been operating on in terms of whatever this is, okay? I was told to say that. <laughs> so just keep the faith, be your own individual self, be your loving self. In the month of March, that is the message for you. So let's see what the Angel Answers Oracle has to say about this, okay? That is by Randy Valentine and Doreen Virtue, the Angel Answers Oracles. All right, so let's shuffle them up and see what else they got to say for the month of March for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Nice. Meditation brings answers. All right. Movement meditation, integration. Okay, so meditation and prayer. 
that's what's going to get you through this. That's what's going to bring you the answers of how to handle this situation. All right, let's see what the book has to say about meditation brings answers. That's nice. Relying on source, right? Meditation. Trying to come up with an intellectual answer to your concerns hasn't been successful. That's because the solutions you seek can only be found by going within through meditation or inner spiritual work. You may gather insights from your nighttime dreams as your subconscious creates solutions for you that are not available to your waking mind. And that's good. So if you can remember to uh, keep a piece of paper and pencil near your bed when you wake up in the morning, write down what it is that uh, you remember from your dreams or what your first impression is as you awaken, okay? And just keep a, a, a tab on that. And once you write it down, you can think more about it. Or maybe you can research about it. Like, why did I dream that? What was that about? And all of these actions that you do is part of the meditation. It's part of the spiritual work, okay? So it doesn't have to be hard, um, but that's an avenue, all right? And look at your dreams. Look at the things that make impressions on you throughout the day. Any synchronicities that go on during your day, those are things for you to pay attention to. And when you pay attention to them and you start to put the pieces together, again, that is spiritual work. It's very easy. Some of it. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we can um, get from the Ayala Van Zandt um, Until Today deck. Let's see if there's any additional affirmations. Uh, no. <laughs> not at all. That was after deck. We're not doing that. All right, so let's see what we can get here, please. Thank you, Spirit. Hmm. Thank you, Spirit. Very nice reading. Wow. Perfect. I am a star with a good supporting cast. Until today, you may have been waiting for a producer to discover you and cast you in a role that would make you a star. Just for this today, decide whether the script you're now acting out serves you. Or is doing you a disservice. You may be being called upon to be the organizer, the leader, the facilitator in this situation. Okay? Delegate some of this responsibility so it's not too much on you. Alright? And that's not going to change your role as facilitator. That's not going to change you from being the center of attention or at least an important person in this situation but you still need to take care of yourself you don't want to do yourself a physical disservice because you're going too emotional too out of the way in this situation okay you may have to travel to help these people that may be part of the movement. This guy said, "This may maybe you have to to go down south, or you have to go see your family. You may have to go see about a family member, and maybe your supporting cast or your siblings and your family members. Okay, delegate some of the responsibilities to them, even though you're directing. Okay, so one more card from the postcards of spirit." These are individual messages from Spirit. And uh, let's see if they have anything to share. And this is by Colette Barrett um, Reed. Uh -uh, no. <laughs> thank you, Spirit, but no thank you. Okay, this is by Colette Barrett Reed. And these are individual messages. This is uh, your ancestors 
will be addressing you. So if you are uh, expecting to speak to any particular ancestor with these uh, oracle cards, you will be contacting them. But when they respond to you, they respond in the collective, okay? So I guess uh, all your ancestors get together and come up with a plan and tell you what to do, okay? They come to a consensus on the message. So you're speaking to one ancestor or two ancestors, but this, they're going to address you in the we and the us and our, okay? But they will be addressing you as you, okay? Okay. Do you have any, sp um, any messages, Spirit, for... Virgo for the month of March 2018, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Any messages for those run under the sign of Virgo for March 2018? Any encouragement, advice, affirmation? I keep hearing this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> that basically is what's happening. That is what it is. Well, yeah, okay. Okay. No, that's like 12 cards. <laughs> oh my God, I can't. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. That was horrible, but. I don't want to mess up anybody's copyright by singing it the way it's supposed to go, right? <laughs> All right, let's go with this one here. Oh, hidden treasures? Okay. Hidden treasures. Dearest you, since you're on Earth, you understand how buildings are built, yes? A good solid foundation and yet flexibility too, in case of an earthquake. Truth be told, you can't offer something sustainable unless it is built from a solid base. Whether it be an idea that takes form one step at a time, or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation dug, poured, and then built. We want to remind you of this because you might need a little encouragement to see this is true in your life at this time. Celebrate the fact right now that you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly, as well as do a general site check to ensure your hard work is being well supported. Do this and know that you are building a life on a perfect and solid foundation that will allow you to welcome the many miracles waiting to come to visit. We are so happy for you and so intrigued by what you're building. Ah, Shay, that's fabulous. What a nice message. So what's coming towards you? Make sure that it's a solid base. And make sure that you do what you can to help make that base solid. So thank you very much, Virgo, for joining me today and uh, allowing me to bring you these messages from spirit so please like share subscribe okay to the channel and i will be seeing you in the middle of the month for your love bites all right thank you so much for everything and uh i'll be speaking to you all soon all right let me see if i can find my mouse <laughs> All right, everybody, so take care, and I'll be speaking to you soon. Alafia, Ashe, peace.